hi guys in this video we will talk about how to solve question number four of may june 2024 p1 past paper uh, in the uh, in the previous videos we had seen question number one two and three so in this video we will start from question number four so i have already done the solution here let me just explain this so here you have a function which is by uh, f of x is equals to 2x minus 1 root into, uh, into root 3x minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 right so here just uh, what you will do to find the value of k you can just uh, see this point here we have uh, unknown parameter which is a value of y which is unknown so what we will do we just put the point here and then just solve this equation so now you can just put the value uh, or you can say just put this point b here uh, now the value of y is equals to k and the value of x will be 2.0001 as you will put this value in this question you will get the value of k here right so uh, in the second part you should need to find the uh, find the gradient uh, of the chord AE so here we have uh, points are given and then uh, to find the chord or to find the gradient of the chord of AE you know about the point here A and E here we have two points this is our A and this is our E right and then you can just uh, you can just uh, know the formula of the slope here we have formula is equals to uh, y2 minus y1 and then here we have uh, x2 minus x1 right uh, so here we have two points are given and you can say if it's a uh, x1 and y1 and or you can say x2 or y2 whatever you want so just i have used this one this formula here and then uh, i what i uh, what i did here just uh, write the uh, write to 4.63566 and then just minus this with the a and same uh, i did for uh, the uh, for the values of x right and then just uh, simplify this and i will get this slope right <clears throat> now uh, in the uh, now here you can see the value yes uh, this is actually uh, part 3 here right in part 3 or in part c we need to find the value of f prime of 2 to find the value of f prime of 2 you can just take some basic derivative here just apply the product root here and then you will get the just put the value of 2 according to the question and then you will get the same uh, you will get 6.25 which is the correct answer in the answer sheet right so uh, if you have uh, if you don't know how to apply the product rule uh, this is let me just explain it's very simple uh, you know about this is uh, you can just say that this is my first function which I can say uh, which is uh, I would say which is my uh, which is my uh, you can say which is u and here we have second function uh, which I can say uh, which is v uh, now this is now if you know uh, what i will uh, what i did just i take a derivative of this function which is called u so the derivative of the u will be 2 only right and here we have the derivative of minus 1 will be will become zero right and just re rewrite the function u here same as you have written before and then uh, take addition and then just rewrite the same uh, value of u here and uh, take a derivative of v function right first what i did just rewrite 
the uh, uh, just we take derivative of u and rewrite v same as before and then here what i did i just uh, uh, rewrite uh, uh, rewrite 2x minus 1 which is a function of u same as before and then I just uh, take derivative here and the, uh, the derivative you can see here 3x minus 2 to the power minus half into minus uh, into uh, into minus 3 uh, and then you know uh, you have power half right so if this power will uh, to take a derivative you will get 1 by 2 because of the power 1 by 2 because first you uh, take the power at the uh, at the first place and then you will uh, mi minus uh, uh, then you will uh, then you will minus 1 from the power uh, from this power and then you will get all right so after simplifying this just uh, just put the value of 2 here and then you will get the same answer <coughs> uh, here we have uh, this is uh, the trigonometric function uh, identity that we should need to prove so here we have uh, uh, i have just uh, write the same question uh, sin x squared minus cos x minus 1 1 plus x uh, cos x right so I can uh, just split this in this way sin x square plus uh, over 1 plus cos x minus and then I can say cos x plus 1 1 plus cos x and these both will be cancelled if I will take common minus sign from here and then it will become 1 right. So now this function will remain same I can say here. Uh, uh, I can write uh, x is, uh, sin x square will become 1 minus cos square x right and then uh, according to the formula you know a square minus b square uh, is equals to a plus b a a plus b into a minus b right so according to this formula according to this formula you know i can just rewrite x 1 minus cos square is equal to 1 plus cos square x into 1 minus cos x right so not the square here sorry 1 plus cos x into 1 minus cos x according to this formula I, I have just written this according to this formula here right and now here um, minus 1 will remain the same and then here we have 1 plus cos x 1 plus cos x 1 plus cos x will be cancelled and we will uh, uh, we will remain with um, uh, with 1 right here we have 1 and then you can see you can see uh, here we have 1 minus cos x and minus 1 right so minus x minus x will be cancelled here let me just now here you can see uh, we have uh, they both are cancelled and here we have 1 minus cos x minus 1 right this minus 1 minus plus 1 will be cancelled and we will left with minus cos x which we want to prove here. Uh, now uh, according to uh, in part number uh, in part b what we will do we need to find the values of uh, sin x or solve this equation. To solve this equation we know uh, this is same as we have uh, this is the same equation as we have before in part a so what you will what you can uh, what you can uh, do here just take two common and then this question will uh, this uh, if you see here i have this uh, circle with a dotted line uh, because this is the same question if you will take common here this is the same question as we have uh, seen before and it will be minus cos x so it, if it is equivalent to minus cos x I can just replace this whole expression or whole whole expression with minus x 
and here we have minus 2 right and it will become 1 by 2 uh, uh, sorry it will uh, it will be 1 by 4 and then as you will uh, as you will cancel 2 and minus 4 it will become minus half right cos is equals to minus half and then you can just take inverse of cos 1 by uh, minus 1 by 2 you will left the 120 degree so it is a radian when you will uh, calculate this in in degrees you will get x is equals to 120 or you can say x is equals to 360 minus 120 will uh, the, it will give you 240 value 240 degrees right so thank you so much for watching this video in this uh, in the next uh, in the next videos we will cover the remaining questions so please subscribe and share my video thank you